All right, real quick, it's yours truly, Mr. Telefera. Before the video starts, it will mean the world to me if you follow me on Twitter, Instagram. That's how my business grows. At is Mr. Telefera on your screen right now. When you follow and subscribe to me, you become one of the pharaohs. That's how I talk business, and that's how you support a young hustler out here getting it. All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing out there? I always love when Jay-Z, the king of rap, I love when Hov comes around and humbles your favorite rapper. Because year-round, we hear your favorite rapper pop all his shit about how he a boss this, he a boss that, he making it doing this, he putting niggas in positions doing that, whatever, whatever. And then a guy that actually owns a streaming platform that your artist plays his music on a guy that owned owns a label right he comes around and says yo my guy you still got a boss somehow somewhere you're still an employee again no disrespect to any rapper out there but you still have a boss ain't no and ain't nothing wrong with having a boss we all got bosses to a degree but for you to be popping this issue around like you the biggest boss out there come on bruh you even got a boss too now, Jay-Z and Beyonce dropped this uh, surprise project over the weekend, and there's a lot of little jabs. Jay-Z is literally, and both him and Beyonce are literally talking about anything, any rumor that's been on their name in the last calendar year. They kind of took that same top off energy, right, with the record with Khaled and Future, and they brought it right to this whole project in album form. They're, they're talking about anyone, any rumor that, that was on their head over the last year, any comparison, they're just airing this shit out. And I believe on this boss record, I'm like 90% sure of it, Jay-Z opted to take a shot at Drake. And I do believe Drake and, and Hov, they do this from time to time on records. They take shots at each other, right? And right now would be a great time to take a shot at Drake if you're Hov. Obviously, Drake coming off of the L, um, or the perceived L and the push of TB because he did not respond. I think over the years, Drake has, has tried to compare himself to Jay. Drake has said, I want to be the greatest of all time. So with that being said, like LeBron and Mike, we put those we put those standards on Drake, right? That's why the standard is different for him. And, um, you know, I think Drake succeeded at a lot of stuff. That numbers game, just like LeBron, when it's all said and done, Drake is likely going to have the numbers edge over Jay in a lot of categories. But he ain't going to have them six rings. And when I mean the six rings of rap, I mean stuff like, yo, there is no ghostwriting allegations on Hov's name, and it never will be, right? Um, with Drake losing beefs the way he did by not responding. We're not going to see a lot of that in Jay-Z's legacy, right? Or when he was in his prime of his career. Being an owner of platforms, I do believe Drake will be an owner of some platforms one day. But it won't be in the magnitude of how Jay was, right? Well, Jay was the first to do a lot of this shit. And also, Jay got the street cred, and Drake will never have that. So, again, with all that being said, salute to Drizzy Drake. I do believe him and Jay-Z go back with a little spar. And ain't nothing wrong with that in rap. If you want to be better than your successor, y'all go back and forth with a little sparring every now and then. And I think we've heard that for quite some time. And I think this continues on his boss record. As Jay-Z says the following lines, he said, no cap, false nigga. You not a boss, you got a boss. Niggas getting jerked, that shit hurts. I take it personally. Niggas rather work for the man than to work with me. Just so they can pretend to be on my level. That shit is irking to me. Pride always go before the fall. Almost certainly. It's disturbing what I gross. Survey says, you not even close. Everybody's bosses till it's time to pay for the office. Till them invoices separate the men from the boys over here. We measure success by how many people successful next to you. Here we say you broke if everybody gets broke except for you. Boss. Now, now we can say, yo, Ho could be talking about anybody. We don't know how many white men Jay work with from day to day, right? That he doesn't like or he has to work with uh, in business. How many rich people, you know, it could be literally anybody. We forget about how rich this man is and how many business opportunities and how many people that he probably meets that he doesn't like, right? But let's just keep it in the terms of hip hop for the fun of it. I believe there are a ton of Drake references or potential Drake references in this 
we do realize that Drake had the opportunity to be one of the artists or premier artists on title. And Jay considers that a working relationship, not like you you work for me, but you work with me type relationship. As a lot of the t uh, mem uh, people on title, musicians on title have ownership in it, like a Rihanna, like a Kanye had it. I don't know if he still does. Beyonce has ownership in it. Obviously, Hove has the majority ownership in it. So there was an opportunity for Drake to sign with a uh, title or work with title but he opted to go to apple music and sign a 16 million dollar deal that deal is almost up it's almost time for drake to re-up by the way so maybe jay when he says that shit's irking to me when niggas rather work for the man than to work with me i that could be a drake reference and then he goes on to say it's disturbing what i grow survey says you're not even close everybody bosses his time until it's time to pay for the office maybe that's taking a shot at Drake because he's over at Apple Music to them invoices separate the men from the boys. I'm looking at this invoice line like, yo, if Drake, if Jay Z's been in the studio over the last couple weeks, do you believe he took a shot at Drake using the term invoices? Jay Z knows what the hell is going on with rap. He's very, very uh, savvy to what's going on musically with guys like Drake and Pusha T and Kanye. I'm sure Jay has heard Drake and Pusha T's diss records, respectively, the Duppy Freestyle and the story of a dad. And so I'm just saying, Drake did bring up invoices and he did hop on Instagram and send over the invoice to Pusha T for helping him sell some records and helping his boss finish his project. Maybe that invoice line is a shot. I'm just saying. He uh, Jay goes on to say, we measure success by how many people successful next to you. I don't know y'all i'm just saying if you want to take another shot at drake drake is the premier artist in the game over at ovio but how many artists are rising to that top with them ovio not looking like the rockefeller rock nation back in the day is drake then where's party is drake when what are some of these other artists who i will acknowledge drake does put them on his projects but some ain't sticking musically. These artists ain't coming up out of the six like Drake. You saying you the boss this, boss that. Where your artists at, bro? At this point, Jay was already starting to put other artists in positions. And if you are somebody that believes Drake and Jay-Z play this little battle, and we're probably going to hear something from Drake on his new project. I feel like Drake's going to air out like 35 niggas on his new album. Um, it, it probably is going to be a shot back at Jay on the project. And I would expect it. It's all in the fun of competition. And I think Drake and Jay-Z do this shit every project they release. And it just continues on this project as well. Thank y'all for the time. Love the part. Don't take it for granted. We believe Jay-Z might have took a shot at Drake. It's hip-hop. It happens. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah.